Hi, welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I curate real stories from across the world that you can use when you're driving home a business point. On our website, www.storyworks.in, we have over a hundred stories and we are adding one every week. The collection on the website is searchable for the business point that you want to make. Uh, you could put in the phrase or the word and then search for the story. Let's start today's story. I heard this story in a talk by Simon Sinek. Many years ago, a retired US Under Secretary of Defense was invited to speak at a large conference. There were over a thousand people in the audience. He was in the middle of his PowerPoint presentation when he paused to take a sip of coffee from the cup that he had brought with him when he had come up to the stage. He put down his clicker on the podium, picked up the styrofoam cup in which was his coffee. He took a sip of his coffee and then looked down into the coffee in the cup and then he looked up and smiled and suddenly went off script. He said, you know, the last year I spoke at the exact same conference at the exact same venue. Last year I was still the Under Secretary. When I spoke here last year, they flew me in business class. I arrived at the airport. There was someone waiting for me to take me to my hotel. When we reached the hotel, I realized that they had already checked me in and they took me straight to my room. The next morning, I came downstairs. There were a few people waiting for me in the lobby to greet me. And they drove me to this hall, the very same venue. They took me through the back entrance into the green room and then handed me a cup of coffee in a beautiful ceramic cup. Today, I'm no longer the undersecretary. Yesterday, I flew here in economy class, took a taxi to my hotel and checked myself in. This morning, I came down to the lobby and took a taxi to this venue. I came through the front door, found my way backstage. And when I asked someone, do you have any coffee? He pointed to the coffee machine in the corner and I poured myself a cup of coffee into this styrofoam cup. The lesson for me is that that ceramic cup last year was never meant for me. It was meant for the position I held. I, as an individual, deserve just this styrofoam cup. What an impactful story. What is the business point of this story? The point is we must always remain humble and grateful. Remember this as you gain fame, as you gain, gain fortune, as you gain position and seniority, people will treat you better. They will hold doors open for you. They will get you a cup of coffee or tea without you even asking for it. They will call you sir and ma'am and they'll give you stuff. None of that stuff is meant for you. That stuff is meant for the position you hold. It is meant for the level that you have achieved of leadership, success, or whatever you might call it. But you will deserve only a styrofoam cup. Remember this lesson of humility and gratitude? We can accept all the free stuff. You can accept all the perks. After all, you've earned it. Absolutely, go ahead and enjoy them. But be grateful for them and know that they're not for you. They are for the position you hold. Do share with me in the comment section your thoughts on this story. As many of you know, the StoryWorks YouTube channel and indeed our website has two playlists. The Story Bank playlist, which already has over 50 stories that you can share to drive home a business point. The other playlist is called Leaders Speak. In that channel, we have videos where leaders have shared stories that have created opinions they have. Now, if you're sharing the same opinion with your team or trying to drive home the same or similar message, you could use the story. And remember, on the website, you can find the story by putting in the message as in the word or the phrase. If you enjoyed this story, do give it a like, share it and subscribe to the channel. We also have a WhatsApp group for people who want a copy of this video for their own use. To join that group, click on the link below this video or in the comment section. See you next week. Thanks for watching.